Now a face off back in the Redbirds' backyard. Masanis trying to hold on to it. He does, but the shot goes wide. Dorian nearly lost it. Great play with the glove to keep it alive. Club play whistle dead. Now three and a half left in regulation. Threes all around in this third period. The goals once again. Two from Colin Young in the first period. Michael Rabkin contributing as well. It was three to nothing and from there Illinois has gone three unanswered. One in the last frame, two in this one. Sean Vian, Gregory Ettingen and Alexander Matviev. Yet despite that, the netminder for the Redbirds, Andrew Meyer, has played a great game. As has Nolan Woodring in relief for Illinois. Alpi looks to clear it over to Ettingen on the near side, sent back out to the middle of the ice, nearly dangerous there. Redbirds will try and send it back into the Illinois doghouse, they do. And Alpi controls now. Three minutes left in regulation. Still kept inside, a diving clear attempt there from Ettingen goes and the Redbirds will have to chase it down. That's Joseph D'Alessandro, as he can't handle that one, still fighting for it, still able to get it close, but clear. Moving quickly now, showing off that speed is Colin Young. Young with Helfer on his sixth, successful harassment there by Atticus Helfer to gain the puck. Now speed on the other side, Alec Bogdanov gets past Panos, sends it around to Kolb, odd angle for Kolb, he'll try and gain a better one, however loses the puck in doing so. And it's taken now by John Panos. Cleared now, Nick Anderson has to reset for Illinois. Anderson moving in, a shot goes wide. Anderson with a great angle right there. And it's cleared once again out to Joe Dorian. Illinois doing a good job keeping things on their side of the ice. They're applying the pressure and they're keeping the pressure on as we're inside two minutes left here in regulation and an icing. It has been all Illinois in this third period, ever since that Gregory Ettingen Hail Mary goal. And again, we talk about feelings of deflation. It will be up to Illinois State to respond appropriately. 